I've always been fascinated by the process of evolution, and in my research, I've looked for ways to try to understand how life evolved to be the way it is today. And for me, studying CRISPR was a piece of that puzzle. It's really about you know, finding the kinds of questions that we can tackle given the tools that we have and doing it with the smartest people I can find. My name is Jennifer Doudna. I'm a professor at University of California, Berkeley, and I have appointments at the Gladstone Institute and UCSF. I'm also the founder of the Innovative Genomics Institute. I grew up in a small town in Hilo, Hawaii. It's a rainy place, a beautiful place. It was a place that sparked my curiosity in science in many ways. There were many plants and animals that had evolved in that native environment that made me wonder about the chemistry behind these organisms that could survive in an isolated setting like that. I wasn't thinking about DNA at the time or, or genetics or anything, but I just had the good fortune of having a wonderful chemistry teacher in high school. And that was really the beginning of wondering, you know, could I be a scientist someday? Could I be somebody who investigated the chemistry of life? I remember reading The Double Helix by James Watson, a story about the discovery of the structure of DNA. And it goes beyond just the science of that discovery. It talks about the people behind it and the incredible both collaboration and competition that happened. It was the first time I began thinking about science as a, the way that you get to answers by doing experiments. And I knew I wanted to pursue the study of uh, you know, the chemistry of life. And so I went to Pomona College for my undergraduate, and from there I went to Harvard Medical School for my graduate work. And I had the good fortune to uh, start working in the lab of Jack Shostak, who was fascinated by cell division and the origin of life. He wondered if I wanted to be the first student in the lab to start working on that project with him. I didn't know better. I said, sure. <laughs> and it was amazing. My first job was at Yale University in New Haven, and my science was very exciting there. And at the same time, I got a job offer at the University of California, Berkeley. I was completely blown away by how beautiful it was, how incredible the colleagues were, how excited people were about their science, and at the same time, how open they were to collaboration. One thing that happened not too long after I got to Berkeley was that I met another professor, Jill Banfield. Our paths crossed when she called me one day to tell me that her research had uncovered evidence of an adaptive immune system in bacteria. And she wondered if I, as a biochemist, might want to investigate how this worked. Our research there eventually led me to a meeting with Emmanuel Charpentier in which we discussed the possibility of studying the, the underlying chemistry of CRISPR systems. And it was that research project that we worked on together that led to our, our groundbreaking discovery of uh, the CRISPR technology for genome editing. The Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences has today decided to award the 2020 Nobel Prize in Chemistry jointly to Emmanuel Charpentier and Jennifer Doudna for the development of a method for genome editing. It is a great honor to convey to you my warmest congratulations and ask you to receive the Nobel Prize. One of the things I love about working at the University of California is that we're a public institution. We make our work and our educational opportunities available to everyone. And I think it's really interesting that a technology like CRISPR was developed at a public institution. At the Innovative Genomics Institute, we're absolutely dedicated to the idea that this technology ultimately needs to be widely available and affordable to all who can benefit from it. Ever since I was a child, I wanted my life to make a difference. I wanted to feel that I was working on important problems, and that's absolutely the, the story of CRISPR. I continue to love science. I love uh, working with students and postdoctoral scholars. 
whether it's through educating the next generation of scientists or whether it's uh, you know, making fundamental discoveries in the lab. I really enjoy uh, working here at the university and I can't tell you how excited I am about all of the doors that's opening right now.